Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, um, you have spoken with me, Pastor Foskin, and your listeners. Now, um, today, Lord Jehovah Magen, Jehovah Moaz, Jehovah Mashi, the Lord my refuge, Jehovah Eli, the Lord my God, Jehovah Imeku, Jehovah Hamelech, the King, the Lord Jehovah Hashafet, the Lord the Judge. He has spoken with me today. And in this conversation, he took me to a place. I see that I'm going to go to a place. And at this place, I see the elevators. And on my right hand side, the restroom. I don't know why it looks like it was a bit upstairs. And uh, there are many people there. And at that time, the Lord shows me somebody that was lying down. And then later I see that they are very stiff. He is very stiff, that person lying down with his people. I see two people by him. Very stiff. He looks to me more like he has died. Because he's very stiff. And uh, I see that uh, the Lord commands his servant to walk towards him. And to instruct his people to lift him up. But he's very stiff. He's absolutely stiff like wood, a piece of wood. Totally dry hands, everything has stuck onto the body plus the feet. He is dead, I think. I see this is dead now. And then the Lord commands his servant to advance towards him and gain contact with him. And then instruct the two people here to raise him up, to, 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 to lift him up, to rise up, to rise up. And as they bring, so these are three stages. I see three stages here. When he's lying totally down, very stiff, and he's dead. And then the Lord causes his servant to instruct the two people who are there, who are mourning there, to now lift him from the shoulders and head to lift. But but they bring him up like a piece of wood. So he's really stiff and dry. As they bring him up, when he's just about reached the exact ninety degree vertical. He resurrects and walks away and becomes a big drama in that situation. So I see three stages. I see a stage when he's lying down totally dry and stiff and like wood. And I see the second stage when they try to raise him vertical, but very wooden and dry and dead. And I see a third stage when they reach almost 90 degree vertical at the command of his servant. Then he walks away. So these are the situations and the visitations that are taking place at this hour. These things are going to happen because the Messiah is coming. Jesus is coming. And we need to prepare for the coming of Jesus. The mighty latter glory that comes to the church is right now here. And all these things will happen because we need to prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah in our hearts. Uh, we, we need to raise the lower places, the valleys, the depressions in our hearts, that the way may be smooth in our hearts. And also, every single mountain that exalts itself as an impediment before the Lord in our hearts needs to be mowed down, to be mowed down, chopped down, cut down. And then the rugged place is a plain. Because these are the signs of the time that the kingdom of the Messiah, the kingdom.
kingdom of power, the kingdom of resurrection is coming. The glorious kingdom of the Lord. And again, I said, the Lord took me to a place, and I see this person lying down here like a piece of wood. He is dead. I can see he's dead. I see him now even as I speak. And I see two uh, people tending the body there. And then uh, on my right hand side, I see as though they were elevators, and I think they are restrooms. I see somebody cleaning one of them on the other side. And then uh, as he lies dead there, the Lord now commands his servant to advance and gain contact with this dead. And then moving closer, then the Lord causes me to instruct the two. To, to lift him up. Then when they lift him up from the shoulders and the head, like wood, dry like wood, the hands are dried on him, uh, and uh, the legs are dry. And then as they lift him up, then all of a sudden, in a very shocking encounter, he immediately walks. He gets up, and begins to walk away as the man of God lifted his left prophetic hand towards him. So these, these are the events that must take place because the Messiah, my Lord, is coming. My Redeemer, my Savior, my Master is coming. This earth, this earth will one day know that the, the King of the universe, the King of the universe is Jesus. And I'm so blessed that the Lord's clock has continued to, to tick, to count down and tick away towards the zero hour when the Messiah will come. Because this earth will one day know that surely the Lord sent me, and this day I'm announcing will realize and materialize on the face of this earth. And that day when it does come to pass, it will be a day, day of truth. The day of reality. That's the day we'll know who really was born again in Christ Jesus. That is the day when we'll know who really was Holy Ghost filled. That's the day we'll know who really was walking righteous and holy. But for those tuned in today, what a wonderful opportunity to take advantage of these moments, the visitations that prove the hour, that we may now prepare and draw closer to God's duty of holiness. This is the hour to repent and develop a zero tolerance to sin and prepare for the coming of the Messiah, my Lord, my Savior, our King, Redeemer, and Friend, our Master. May those who have ears to listen hearken to the words of the Lord. Shalom.